Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us here in the 21 Alive Plus studio. Meg Rossler coming on here this afternoon uh, because day nine of the Delphi murders trial has started up down in Carroll County, uh, the first day of the uh, full second week of trial. Um, has started up this morning and obviously we've been following everything very closely as this trial has been going along. 21 Alive did not have a seat inside of the courtroom today, but again, as many of you know, if you've been keeping up with how the trial works, uh, we can't get a seat inside of the courtroom every single day. Uh, so we have to get information from reporters who are inside the courtroom to share uh, what happened so far for the day. So uh, I'm going to start with some of the notes from this morning that we've been sent. Um, give me one second here to pull some stuff right up. All righty. All right, so first thing to note, uh, Judge Fran Gohl did mention that there are now 15 jurors, uh, 12 on the jury and three alternates. A man left Friday for a family emergency and he will no longer be a part of the jury. Uh, so that is just one thing to note. But the only person who has taken the stand so far today is Stacy Bozanovsky, uh, who is a forensic scientist and DNA anal analyst uh, with Indiana State Police. So, uh, so far that is the only person who has taken the stand. Uh, and what we do know from her testimony so far is she uh, was the one collecting and finding DNA belonging to Abby and Libby uh, on this crime scene. So she was the one that took a look at everything that was processed. And obviously DNA belonging to the girls was the most common found on the scene. And last week, a big detail that we did learn was <clears throat> investigators were able to confirm that that bullet cartridge found in between Abby and Libby's bodies had been cycled through the gun seized from Richard Allen's home. But today we learned that there was not enough DNA evidence on said cartridge for them to confirm any uh, specific person to be attached to that cartridge. So again, it kind of... Uh, it goes back and forth from the defense to the prosecution about things like this. Uh, so again, last week we learned that that cartridge investigators were able to say had been cycled through the gun seized from Richard Allen's home. But then today the DNA an analyst uh, was not able to find a sufficient amount of DNA on the cartridge for any further testing. There also, again, as we were saying, Obviously, the DNA of Abby and Libby is the majority of what was found on that scene, whether it be in the clothes or the blood uh, surrounding the area. Uh, Bozanovsky, again, who is a DNA analyst with Indiana State Police, said that there was male uh, DNA also found at the crime scene, but uh, cannot connect it to any specific person. She says it's not unusual to find um, an outside person, again, a male in this situation, to be uh, have their DNA on this crime scene because it could come from the girl's clothing or environment. So say one of their fathers, uh, it could be something like that. But she did say she was not able to come to a conclusive decision that any of the DNA found could be linked to Richard Allen. So that is the biggest development that we have learned so far is that this DNA analyst says none of the DNA found on the scene could be linked to Richard Allen specifically, which, again, as I was saying, kind of goes back and forth from what we were hearing last week. We hear that this cartridge had been cycled through the gun found in his home, and now um, a, a couple days later we learn that there's no specific DNA evidence that links him to this crime scene. But as far as we know, that is some of the biggest developments uh, from court today. Uh, again, a lot of the evidence found on the scene was linked to Abby and Libby, uh, the two girls that were found uh, on the crime scene, and a lot of the blood in the area was relating to them. <clears throat> but n this is actually a quote uh, from, from court today. One of the prosecuting attorneys said, did you find the DNA of Richard Allen on any of the items you tested? And uh, she said, no, I did not. So that's some pretty conclusive information. But other than that, in case anyone is joining us, I'll just give you a quick recap of what's happened so far in court today. Uh, day nine of the Delphi murders trial. Again, we do not have a seat in the courtroom today, so this is just coming secondhand information from reporters who are in the courtroom. But just the biggest thing to know is a DNA analyst was not able to confirm that any DNA found on the crime scene 
could be linked to Richard Allen. Uh, so that is a very big piece um, in some of these arguments here. But other than that, uh, we have not gotten much other information. There were a lot of details going into how, you know, how uh, they analyze DNA and how they process everything from those scenes. But that is just the big takeaway, is no DNA evidence could be linked to Richard Allen at this crime scene. And specifically, I know we were talking last week about the bullet, the cartridge found in between the girls' bodies. They were able to find last week, investigators were able to find last week that that cartridge had been cycled through his gun, but the DNA analyst from ISP today said that there wasn't enough DNA on that specific cartridge for them to take it to any further investigation. Uh, so that is another key piece of evidence from today. But again, we will bring you the latest once we have it from other reporters. They uh, Around this time is usually when they're heading back into the courtroom for the second half of the day, um, and we will see where who takes the stand next. Uh, it's safe to assume we might have the same person on the stand all day today like it was on Friday last week, but we will keep everyone updated with the latest, but we just wanted to come on here really quickly uh, to give you this big update in the case. Again, no DNA on this crime scene, according to a DNA analyst, was able to be linked to Richard Allen. Um, but that is the latest for right now, and thanks to anyone who joined us here, and we will be sure to come back on this afternoon and on our evening e evening newscasts with all of the updated information from the Delphi murders trial. Again, full second week starting up today in Carroll County. All right, thanks everyone so much. Enjoy your afternoon.